Hey, 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 y'all. So, we are here today because, I'm gonna bring you closer. I am getting ready to make a simple, quick chicken pot pie. It's very hearty, and um, yeah, my family loves it. I love chicken pot pie. That's one of my favorite dishes. So anyway, I'm starting with three chicken breasts that I just cleaned, and I'm just gonna cut it into pieces because we're gonna need to actually sear, uh, not sear, but um, we're gonna actually need to cook this meat before we get started. I'm actually going to make this into two meals because y'all know with uh, the cost of food right now, baby, we gotta make things stretch. So I'm gonna make this stretch by making this chicken pot pie as well as a chicken soup. And I'm just gonna freeze half of it um, in the freezer. So as you can see, I'm just cutting this chicken up into small pieces like this. I am turning on my heat. I have a stock pot. I'm just gonna add some oil to it. I'm using avocado oil. There's that. And I'm gonna add my chicken to my pot. I'm just gonna cut up the rest of this onion um, that I had. I'm just gonna cut the rest of this onion that I had from earlier today and I'm gonna add it to there. Normally, I don't cut my vegetables on the same cutting board as I cut my meat, but since this is going right in with the meat, it doesn't make any difference. I usually use this wooden cutting board for my vegetables and then the meat I use this glass cutting board for. But today, all together so I'm just gonna cut it up. Y'all gonna see me using onion all of the time because my family loves onion, y'all. I know I say that to a lot of people. <laughs> but my family will literally come and grab a raw piece of onion as I'm cutting it up. So <laughs> oh gosh. And I remember growing up, if I think about it, I remember growing up and I had um, an aunt a great onion and, and my grandma, which is her sister, they would eat raw onion with like their fish and and chicken and stuff. So I guess my my children got that from, <laughs> from that side of the family. Alright, y'all I already got the oven going. I have it heated up to 375. Now I'm just gonna use this Kinder's um, but butcher's all purpose seasoning to season my meat today. So I'm gonna go in with that. I don't know how much I'm putting in there. I'm just going by the feeling. I just wanna make sure that every piece is covered up, plus a little extra. And then my cracked black pepper, go in with that. This is just gonna give it a different flavor. And that's the beautiful thing about making chicken pot pie. You can literally make it to your taste buds. Whatever you like to taste, you do that thing, okay? That's what we're going to do. All right, put a little bit of my pink salt on it. I always use salt, even if something has salt in it. I just feel like it don't, it doesn't salt it enough. That's just my personal opinion. To each their own, okay? All right. So we're gonna cook this until it gets brown on both sides, pretty much. It doesn't have to be fully cooked. I honestly, whenever I'm making like a soup or either I'm making chicken pot pie, I honestly don't like to get my chicken all the way cooked through because you're gonna end up boiling it, right? And then when you boil it, it's going to cook some more and in order to keep that tenderness in the chicken, it needs to not be cooked all the way when you boil it. The boiling will take care of the rest, but this kind of just seals in that flavor from the seasonings, the onions, and that oil. If you think about it also with chicken pot pot, your chicken is going to your chicken is going to cook inside of the oven as well in the chicken pot pie. So what's the point of cooking it all the way, right? Okay. All right, so right there for me is good enough. I'm gonna turn that off. Now I'm just gonna come in. I got this bag of mixed vegetables. It has 
carrots, sweet corn, peas, and green beans in it. I'm gonna get a cup, you know what? No, I'm not gonna use that. The reason I'm gonna keep my measuring cup because there's this big old chunk in there. <laughs> and um, I can't get past it. <laughs> Unless I pour that big old chunk in there and I'm not trying to do that and have to break it up. So, I'm just gonna use this half cup. I tried breaking it up earlier, but it didn't break up. Remember, we're putting enough in there so that we can use this as a soup, half of it as a soup later. Or you, you can make two chicken pot pies too and freeze one up, but I'm just, you know what, I might end up doing that, who knows, whenever I thaw this out later, I might end up just freezing this right on, I mean thawing it out and making it into another chicken pot pie. You have that option. But, one thing I know is that families like things that are different. <laughs> So my family will think that they're eating something totally different even though it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Alright, so there's a big chunk right there that I'm just going to kind of break up. And a big chunk right there. So here we are. Um, we just want to thaw out these vegetables, okay? And um, they don't have to be, again, they don't have to be fully thawed because we're going to actually boil this for a little bit. Just for a little bit. But what I like to do, this is where all the flavor comes in. <clears throat> I like to go back in with my seasonings and season one more time because what ends up happening is that you, you put in extra vegetables, you're gonna put in some liquid and the flavor is just going to get diluted. Okay, now I'm gonna tell y'all this, you're gonna have to play around with it. You're gonna have to learn just by seeing what is enough and what is too much. I've been cooking, shoot, man. Oh, like legit cooking, if I really think about it, since I've been married, which is over 16 years, and um, of course I cooked a little bit when I was a teenager, but I wasn't as serious about it. And so it's taken 16 years for me to develop the natural sense. Okay. All right. As you see, the chicken is still not all the way done, but these vegetables are, for the most part, melted. Now, what I'm about to do, I have some bone broth that I made in November. I've been using it here and there. I'm going to add this bone broth. And this is the key. You gotta work in advance with things so you can always have something ready for you. So that might be, I would say, two cups of bone broth. I'm gonna add two cups of water. Maybe, yeah, that should be enough. And if not, I'll come back and add more. In the meantime, I'm going to put my lid on and I'm gonna turn the heat down to six and I'm just gonna let that boil and then I'll be back. All right, y'all, while this is doing its due diligence and boiling, which I'm gonna turn it up <laughs> because it hasn't started boiling yet, I'm going to um, do my pie crust, so. Normally, I would put um, I don't know what I was gonna say, <laughs> but anyway, so sometimes I make my own pie crust, but today I'm using some store bought pie crust. I got these from Costco in a big container. Grace, I, you gotta go into your room, or even my room. <laughs> go into your okay. All right, so I bought these from Costco. Came in a pack of eight. And I just set them behind behind my tea kettle. I don't know if you can see over there, yeah. I set it behind my tea kettle so that they can 
kind of get to room temperature a little bit faster. Let's see. Ooh, look, I may have kept it back there too long because it's not wanting to come apart easily. Okay, there we go, we're good. So I'm just gonna do the first one. And no, you do not have to um, cook this in the oven first. It'll, it'll cook pretty nicely. And so, there we go. Sometimes what I will do is, um, and so look, I'm just gonna press, press it down. It has these little grooves where you can kind of press it into. But sometimes I will, whenever I make my own pie crust, or even sometimes with these, I will use my rectangular Pyrex pan. And I like to make just a longer chicken pot pie. I don't know, sometimes it seems like it goes a longer way that way. My family sees something bigger and they get less, I don't know. But yeah, so that's that portion of it. I'm gonna poke a few holes in that. That way it won't bubble up too much. All right, we're just waiting for this to finish up cooking. In the meantime, I'm going to mix together some water and some flour. And I do this to help thicken up my um, chicken pot pie. So, there we go. And this matters, y'all. It matters because if not, I one time I remember because I was tired, and I remember I forgot to add this little water and flour mixture to my, um, you know, my filling. And I had the runniest chicken pot pie and no one in the family wanted to eat it. But I was like, I'm gonna eat it. It's not gonna go to waste. I don't like to waste food. <laughs> but yeah, so I just mixed that and this is going to help thicken things up. I'm gonna put a little bit more because I wanna make sure that we have a thick enough I guess little, I don't know what you would call this gravy root. I don't know. A little tip, always do this, like mix up your water and flour together before you pour it into a liquid, like whatever liquid filling, because what happens is that if you just put the flour directly into the liquid, and then you're gonna have flour chunks, and we don't want that. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more water to that. I guess this is when exact measurements will come into play, but y'all, I'm, I'm a home cook, so as a home cook, we don't, me well, that's not true, I do measure sometimes, but I like to go by feeling, and I think that's good enough, that's perfect, so. That's about three-fourths of a cup. All right, y'all, we're back. So it has finally done a little bit of boiling and melting. And so I'm just gonna stir it. And can you see this? Okay, there's a lot of steam. I'm gonna try to get y'all to see this. <laughs> the steam is in the way, so. But that's what we have. Okay, it's too much steam, so y'all can't really see it that well. But I'm going to take half of this and put it in this bowl so that I can let it cool down and I'll transfer it into a freezer bag so that I can use this for soup another day. Just gonna set this to the side. All right, now this is when our, um, flour mixture comes into play. I'm gonna get y'all a little bit closer. I know it's a lot of steam over here, <laughs> but all right. This is when our flour mixture comes into play. We might not end up using it at all, but let's see here. 
and we're just gonna pour it in there. Oh yeah, we're gonna use it all. And it's gonna start thickening up. Now you could also use cornstarch for this. All right, there, that looks beautiful. It thickened up nicely. Okay, I'm turning it off and I'm about to pour it into my pie pan. So I'm just gonna gently pour the mixture. So I'm getting this other pie crust out and we're just gonna lay it on top to gently peel it back, <laughs> unroll it, and then make sure it's flat. And I'm just gonna go from one side to the next, just like that, okay? And then if you want to, you can completely take this off, but again, I'm not wasting anything. So I'm just gonna go in and I just put my, I don't know if y'all can see it, put my index finger here, and then I pull it forward and tuck. And then I'll put my index finger here, pull it forward and tuck, and I just do that all the way around. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. You can make it however you want to. You can literally just pinch the pieces together, and I'm sure this might not even be the best way to do it either, but that's all right. We're gonna make it work, okay? We're gonna make it work, and I think at the end of the day, we just want it to taste good, right? I mean, we do want it to look presentable and it will look presentable, but at the end of the day, we're trying to get dinner on the table, right? Food in our family's mouths. So there we go, right there. All right, there's different ways you can do that. And I'm gonna take my fork and I'm gonna poke some holes here in the center. And you do this because you need that air to release, okay? All right. So there it is. I'm gonna put this in my oven. And I have my oven turned to 375, okay? And let's see. Here we go. It's going in that oven. I'm gonna put a timer for 30 minutes. Okay, y'all, so I am back, and while my chicken pot pie is cooking, I am actually going to make a Waldorf salad. Waldorf, I don't know. Waldorf, Waldorf? You probably can say it right. Anyway, um, I do not have grapes, which is okay. I'm gonna actually use a red apple, because normally you would use grain. Of course, you use celery, and I had this big bag of celery from Costco. And I'm actually gonna add some carrots to it. And I got this big bag of carrots. I stick, y'all, it's a lot of carrots and I've been using these carrots. But from Costco, I always um, like to buy my fruits and vegetables from Costco as much as possible. I also have walnuts and I have some craisins that I'm gonna use. And then I'm gonna make, it calls for sugar normally, but I'm gonna use maple syrup and some mayonnaise. And um, yeah, so I'm gonna get going with this. And thank you. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try this out. See if I need to do anything with it. That's good. That's my first time ever making that. I like it. See, my family likes it. Y'all, look at them. Look at them. The chicken pie pie is about to come out. Oh, we got 14, 13. Y'all probably don't want to count down with me. That's all right. <laughs> but we almost there. We almost there. We're almost there. Look, Grace, Grace is coming and she's excited too. Y'all, let me turn the timer off. I'm not going to cut it off yet let's see Ooh, look at that steam oh yeah it's done oh grace is gonna hold the camera for me she gonna hold it for me so i can get the chicken pot pie out there safely oh my word today look at that 
Bring it in. Bam. Look at that. Look at that. That's steamy. We're going to have to wait a little bit and let it cool down before we eat it. I know we're ready, but it's too hot to eat. It's way too hot. It's, it's way too hot. It's way too hot. So I'm going to be back in a little bit after I cut into this and, and serve it up on a plate. All right, y'all. Okay, so Miss Grace is going to cut into the chicken pot pie. <laughs> so go down. Yeah. Make sure you cut all the way. Yes, there you go. All the way through. Wait, don't. Yeah, there you go. Sorry, my finger's in the way. Yeah, she just did that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, cut another piece or on another side. It needs to go down, point down. Get to that tip, come over on this side. Yeah, keep cutting in. There you go. One thing about chicken pot pie, oh, it's gonna be juicy now. <laughs> it's gonna be juicy. Let's turn it towards the plate. Cause I'm gonna use the spatula to actually serve it. It's still kind of hot, so you're gonna have to get it at a moment to cool down some even more. Ooh, honey. Ah, there you go. And of course, it comes undone. It comes undone. There's no way in the world to make chicken pot pie look pretty off the bat. And then we're gonna have some more dog salad. Right, there's our chicken pot pie with Waldorf salad. Yay. All right. Thank you all for coming along with me as I cooked. And hopefully you learned something and I encouraged you. All right, you guys have a good one. Bye.